Hello and welcome to Swift Goose. Today we're going to look at how to make a progress bar in Swift UI and one that you can also cancel at any time. So as you'll see here, this one goes all the way to 80% and then stops and will not keep going anymore. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so all I've done here is created a blank Swift UI new project, just called it progress bar. And the first thing that we want to do is create a state variable that will keep track of our download amount or the progress bar percentage basically. So let's make a state private var download amount and we'll set this equal to 0, 0.0 right away. Now the next thing we want to do is create our timer variable which is going to hold the timer and actually start the timer using auto connect. So let's do timer equals timer.publish and we're going to publish basically every 0 0.1 seconds on our main and then we're also going to publish this in dot common dot auto connect. Now to get our linear gradient background, we need to set a couple different colors. So I'll just do that quickly now. And now inside of our body view here, let's put a Z stack. And we're going to basically stack our linear gradient and our progress view inside of this Z stack linear gradient. And we'll do our gradient is a gradient of colors and we have our dark purple and our light purple color that we created above and then our start point which is going to be the bottom and our end point which will be the top dot edges ignoring safe area and we'll put all and now we just need to add our progress view so this will be progress view and we'll put you could put text in here. I'm just going to leave it blank now, but you could put a text saying downloading or waiting, something like that. We'll leave it blank. Value, and we have our download amount, and our total, which is what it should climb up to, which is going to be 100. So let's add our accent color, and this is going to be deprecated soon. So we'll just use accent color for now, but eventually that will change to tint, light teal, we want to add a on receive event for our VSAC, and that's going to receive the timer events. Put dot on receive timer, open brackets, in. And now here is where we can check what our download amount is. So if our download amount is less than 100, then essentially we want to just do download amount plus equals and let's put in one for now. So let's run this code in our simulator and see what it gets. Okay, so you see it's climbing at a steady pace and it's also going right to the edges. So we can add some padding to our progress view so that it's more in the center. And then we can also change how big this is using scale effect. So let's do that now. So in our progress view, we'll add a scale effect. We'll set our X equal to one and our Y is equal to four. So it'll be a little bit taller. And then our anchor point will just be our center. We'll just do add padding. Now, if we want to change how fast this goes, you know, if we want to make it appear to be random, do double dot random in 0.001 inclusive of four. So now if we run this again, it'll run a little bit more unsteadily as opposed to just running that st steady one per second. And there it is. All right, this is going out of bounds since we're adding maybe a four here. So let's say we're at 98 and then it adds four, we're going out of bounds. And we can also add a if condition inside of our on receive telling the timer basically to stop when it gets to a certain point. So we'll say if download amount is greater than or equal to 80 for our 80% self.timer.upstream, which is the publisher, and then connect. So we got to connect into our publisher and then cancel. 
And let's run this one more time. And there it goes. The progress bar stops at 80%. We don't get the warning because it didn't go through. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the dinner bell to be notified in the next video. Thanks for watching.